Compare these two experiences. Speaker one says, I walked into the room. Silence was overwhelming. I felt a hundred eyes staring at me. Speaker two says, I walk into the room. The silence is overwhelming. I feel a hundred eyes staring at me. Which one of those two grabs your attention more? Chances are the second speaker does because presenting in the past tense like speaker one did feels like you're giving a report. In the present tense, you're pulled in and it makes you feel like you're in the scene. Present tense brings a sense of immediacy and engagement that past tense lacks. When you share your story in the present tense, you're inviting your audience to experience the events alongside you in real time. Now, this approach is powerful in storytelling because it creates a sense of urgency and connection. If your narrative feels alive and immediate, your audience is more likely to be hooked and engaged. A past tense does have its own strengths. It offers a reflective perspective that allows for deeper insights because when you recount events in the past tense, you often have a different context and analysis than the present tense. Now, this can be crucial for conveying lessons learned and the wisdom gained from experiences. But if your narrative is too distant and reflective, your audience might feel detached and less involved in the story. How do you choose between the two? Unfortunately, you don't have to because there's a third option. Combine them. Tell your stories in the present tense to provide that you are their experience. This makes your narrative feel alive and urgent and pulls people into the action. For instance, in a keynote speech, using the present tense to describe a turning point makes that moment feel real, impactful, and inspiring. But once your story has ended, shift into past tense and share the lessons and insights from those experiences. This allows you to frame the narrative with the benefit of hindsight, which provides a clear path from challenge to resolution. The power of present and past tense in storytelling lies in its ability to shape your audience's perception and engagement. Choose the most relevant tense for your narrative. You'll achieve the emotional impact of your story and connect more deeply with every audience. Every storyteller faces challenges. Sometimes it's hard to keep your audience engaged, or maybe you're not sure how to make your stories relatable and impactful. But what if you could turn those challenges into opportunities? With the High Impact Storytelling Apps Toolkit, you'll discover how to navigate these obstacles and come out on top. Our toolkit will guide you through, number one, easily creating the first version of your story. Number two, creating emotional connection with relevant narrative details. Number three, entering each presentation situation with confidence that you are ready. In a couple of days, we'll open the shopping cart for you to buy our new High Impact Storytelling Apps Toolkit. Until then, check out our video for more details on how it can best help improve your storytelling by clicking the link below this video.